New tonight, CBS 6 has new court documents that shed more light on what happened in the hours before a 13-month-old Kingsbury girl died. These are those documents right here. At this time, it's still unknown what caused Kaylee Castle's death. Kaylee's mother and her mother's boyfriend were arrested on drug charges after Kaylee's body was discovered in February. And now Kaylee's paternal grandmother is speaking out as new details of that tragic day are revealed. The documents just obtained by CBS 6 detail the story 27-year-old Rachel Ball told investigators about the day she says she found her daughter's lifeless body. On February 23rd, Ball told state police she woke up and noticed Kaylee was in the same position she had left her in the night before. When she looked closer, she says she noticed light green and purple bruises on the child's neck and face and realized the 13-month-old was stiff. And I was there about 10, 1030 in the morning and Kaylee showed no signs of injuries. And the 22nd, the child was dead. Donna Barnes is Kaylee's paternal grandmother. She says she's frustrated with the investigation into her granddaughter's death. We understand that everything takes time and we understand that they wanna make sure that they have everything together. But that mother is responsible for her child. And how come she is not being held accountable? In the affidavit, Ball describes a history of drug abuse. She even admits she and her boyfriend, Joshua Bennett, did coke and heroin the night before Kaylee died. It also details alleged physical abuse from Bennett, including when Ball claims Kaylee complained her arm hurt after Bennett allegedly pulled the girl from her mother's arms a week before her death. The documents also reveal Ball says she was so distraught the day she found Kaylee's body, she couldn't speak on the phone to first responders and was asked to leave the room once they arrived. She was a happy baby. She was a good, good baby. We called District Attorney Tony Jordan and the Washington County Sheriff today to inquire whether Ball or Bennett could face additional charges related to Kaylee's death. The DA says the case is still under investigation.